Shalom. I'm going to start as always by turning to the east and giving infinite honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Ahrakat Wadash, Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham be in the name of the ancient Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Shah. In the name of our Lord and Savior, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, and the Rakat Kodash be in the Holy Spirit, which draws out the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in order for us to teach this truth. And I'm about to prophesy to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native Indians, and let you know that you are the chosen children of Israel, that you are the chosen family of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And He's getting ready to return to deliver those who turn from transgressions and sins. And I'm also about to prophesy the downfall of the current captivity that we're living in that people know to be America, but we know this place to be Babylon. And as I said before, our Lord is returning to deliver those within Jacob that turn from transgressions and sins, and two-thirds being the rest of Israel that choose to continue to sin will be destroyed along with the rest of America by thermonuclear missiles. of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So our Lord commands us to cry aloud and spare not. Whether you're a woman, a man, a child, an elderly, our Lord commands us to cry aloud and spare not to let our people know their sins and their transgression. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 19 and verse 30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his way, says the Lord, the most high power, repent and turn from all your transgression, so that iniquity will not be your ruin. So our Lord tells us all throughout the scripture to repent and turn from our transgression so that iniquity will not be our ruin. Cast away from you all, your tr all the transgressions which you have committed and get yourself a new heart, a new spirit, for why should you die, O house of Israel? So our, so our Lord tells us, why should you die? You have the words that are able to give you eternal life right in front of you. You have the internet as well. So the things that are mentioned in the scripture, you can research and find out for yourself. My people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to worthless idols. <laughs> Be 
because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to worthless idols. Being all of the different philosophies, all of the different religions, they're all made up. There's only one truth, one gospel. As our Lord tells us, he is the power of the Israelites. As our Lord tells us, he is the God of the Israelites. He's the God of the Hebrews. And they have caused themselves to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in pathways and not on a highway. So instead of our Lord, Shalakia, so instead of our people returning to the Lord and walking on the highway of righteousness, they choose to walk on ways that have been that have been made by man. They choose to walk in ways that are not right, contrary to the law, from their own from their own deceit within their own heart, from their own evil dictates. To make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone who passes by, it will be astonished and shake his head. I will scatter them as an east wind before, before the enemy. I will show them the path. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. So our Lord scattered us over the four corners of the earth because in the past our deeds were wicked. And our Lord judged each one of us according to our own deeds. In the times that we're in now, our Lord is calling us back in that we may receive grace and mercy. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 3 strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees so our people have been oppressed our people have been enslaved held in captivity and bondage for over 400 years when you slaughter somebody's family when you destroy somebody for over 400 years what do you think is going to happen to them they're going to be scarred so they're either, they're either gonna have social issues, they're either gonna have social issues or they're gonna have anger issues. And the so-called white man loves to see a mad black man. They love to see us get pissed off. But our Lord tells us our Lord tells us, do not fret because of evildoers. Roughly paraphrasing, don't turn to wrath because somebody keeps messing with you. Our Lord tells us that vengeance is his. He shall repay. So we're not going to lift up a finger trying to fight the same people that enslaved us. We're going to wait for the Lord to return judgment upon their head. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, with the recompense of the Most High. He will come and save you, which is what we're declaring to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native Indians. Return to the Lord, in that you may be saved. Why should you die? Why would you want to die? When the Lord is telling you, you have a chance at everlasting life the tender mercies of David.
Sola aqui, ó. So as our Lord tells us, he forsook us for a mere moment. He forsook us for a mere moment. But with everlasting mercy and kindness, he shall call us back. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your power will come with, with vengeance, with the recompense of the Most High. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like, like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing. So our Lord is pouring out wisdom on the children that seek him. As our Lord tells us in the book of James, whomever lacks wisdom, ask of the Most High, and he will give liberally. So if you want guidance, ask the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and study the Scripture. Seek the Lord. For water shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of jackals where each lake, there shall be grass with reeds and rushes. So our people have been oppressed for over 400 years. They've tried to make us be perpetual slaves perpetual thugs and thoughts, perpetual prostitutes. They've tried to beat our people down and call our people the scum of the earth. They've tried to make our people seem as though they're the, we're the worst people that ever existed. But our Lord tells us that spring shall shoot forth. Our Lord tells us that the parched places of the ground shall become a pool. That's speaking of the nation of Israel. Our Lord has given us the dew from heaven. He's given us the understanding in order to sustain us. The fountain, the fountain of youth, the fountain of living waters. This is the book of John, John chapter 7, John chapter 7 and verse 37. On the last day, the great day of the feast, Yahweh stood up and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. So as our Lord tells us, if any one of you lacks wisdom, ask of the Most High, and he shall give liberally. Back to Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 5. Shalakia verse 8. A highway shall be there and a road. It shall be called the highway of holiness. 
the unclean shall not pass over it. As our Lord tells us, as our Lord tells us, the alien shall no longer pass through our land. As our Lord tells us, the alien shall no longer pass through our land. For these other nations can no longer trample upon us. These other nations can no longer trample upon us and oppress us and lie to us about who we are. These other nations can no longer trample on us and lie about who we are. You got the internet. You got people that have done thousands of hours of research. All you have to do is search for the information. But it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road Although a fool shall not go astray. the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourself together. Yes, gather together. O oh, undesirable nation. So our Lord is calling for that undesirable nation to gather together. Being you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native Indians. Meaning, come back to your heritage of who we, of who you are.
This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 14. For the Most High will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment will return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. So the Lord is not going to forsake his inheritance. Being you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native Indians. Of Psalms, Psalms chapter 78 and verse 68. But chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved, and he built this sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. He also chose David his servant and took him from the sheepfold from following the ewes that had young, he brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hand. Jeremiah chapter 3 to you. I will take you one from a city and two from a family. And I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you shepherds according to my heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So our Lord has set up his shepherds according to his own heart. As I said, our Lord is setting up the shepherds according to his own heart, who are feeding with knowledge and understanding, not with a bunch of opinions and vain feelings.
This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. And now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, so that Israel is gathered to him. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my power shall be my strength. Indeed, he says, it is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. Indeed, he says, it is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, being you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Seminole Native Indians. Our Lord has sent out his servants in order to bring you back to your sheepfold. and to restore the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be my salvation to the end of the earth, to the end of the earth. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 12. Listen to me, you stubborn hearted, who are far from righteousness. I will bring my righteousness near. Listen to me, you stubborn hearted, who are far from righteousness. I will bring my righteousness here. I bring my righteousness near. It shall be, it shall not be far off. My salvation shall not linger. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. So our Lord tells us that he's going to bring righteousness to us. Which is what a mediator does. He meets you halfway. But you have to at least try to seek the Lord. You have to at least try to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Stop worshiping idols. This is the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 42, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 23, who among you will give ear to this, who will listen and hear for the time to come, who gave Jacob for plunder? and Israel to robbers. Was it not the Lord? So the Lord put us into slavery and bondage and captivity. The Lord put us into slavery and bondage and captivity as a punishment because we were rebellious. But now being retired, we're seeking to be obedient. Because we see that when we go astray from the Lord, it doesn't end well. Our Lord has showed us that time and time again. Our Lord tells us that there's only one name in which he may be saved. Our Lord tells us that the rebellion is the sin is witchcraft. So you can't claim that you love the Lord if you're not obedient to his last statute and commandment. And within that he tells us, within that he tells us not to worship any other gods, any other powers. Who gave Jacob for plunder and Israel to the robbers? Was it not the Lord? He against whom he hath sinned? He against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, nor were they obedient to his law. 
so the Israelites didn't make it to the promised land during the time of Moses because they were not obedient to his law. Therefore he poured on them, therefore he has poured on him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle. It has set him on fire all around, yet he did not know, and it burned him, yet he did not take it to heart. So a good amount of our people don't even see, they don't even realize why they're in hell. They don't realize why they're going through hell. Jerusalem a heap of ruin, a den of jackals. I will make the cities of Judah desolate without inhabitant, which has happened to our people. You look at the so-called Negroes, the so-called Haitians, the so-called Jamaicans, and they treat us like we're at the bottom. But it's because our Lord put us here. And the same one, the same, the same power that put us at the bottom is gonna raise us up. understand this and who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken that he may declare it why does the land perish and burn up like a wilderness <laughs> 